Welcome to the MTD CNC studio. I had the pleasure of introducing Greg Williams from Grob UK. Now Grob uh, are one of the largest manufacturers of machine tools in the world. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about a brand new four axis machine. Now this really intrigues me because you've been very, very successful with five axis machines recently in the UK and Ireland. But what's driven you to invest in a brand new four axis? Thanks, Mark. Um, thanks for having us here today to talk about this uh, new machine that we bought out. Um, I'm really glad you've asked that question because obviously I've got the answer is that the customers have actually asked us to make this machine. They've asked us to, if we can supply them a four axis machine. So it's, it's customer driven, basically. And what are, what are the advantages for, for a four axis over a five axis machine? You don't always need a five axis machine. You can, some jobs only need four axis. You can always do a four axis job on a five axis machine, but if you've got high volume production, you can get a lot more on a horizontal machine on the pallet and with a tombstone on them than you can on just a five axis machine. And is there a range of uh, uh, machines that you can supply? Yeah, we, we've bought out uh, three machines in the range from a, a 500 square pallet machine up to an 800 pallet machine, but with variations within those three machines. Now, I, I speak to a lot of engineers uh, and some of your customers and the, the variety of the controls is always an issue sometimes. <laughs> what, what, what's on offer from Grob on the four axis? Yeah, well, as standard on the machines, we've got either a Siemens control for those people that Sometimes Siemens is preferred if you're automating the machine. Or we have a FANUC control, the latest FANUC 31i uh, B uh, uh, control on the machines. And, and when you look at the, uh, the UK and Irish market, for instance, where does this sort of fit in? Where, where is this really going to benefit engineers? And what type of uh, materials would be well suited for the four axes? Okay, the, where, where the machine would fit is I think as we're, we're going to get busy again after this pandemic that we've all been through and numbers are going to go up again. We've already seen that um, reshoring has happened, you know, products are coming back from China, but we still need to be competitive. So the machine lends itself to automation. Um, and, and we at Grob offer lots of different automations of our own. Um, if you're tight for space or you've got a product that you're only ever going to make that product, we can give you a, a rotary pallet changer for the machine. If, it, if you may want to add machines onto the, the system later on, we've got a linear um, pallet pull system that you can put on and then you can add machines into and even other, other ancillary equipment, um, washing machines and what have you. The machines also are, you can robot load the machine if you want to, um, or you can have a twin pallet. So it's, it's up to the customer. We always work with the customer to see what the customer needs and wants and also to future proof the machine we, we work with the customer to see what they want. You, you asked about materials. Um, the material that we cut, the, the machines are designed to cut all sorts of materials. So you can cut from uh, alloys right up to the exotic materials. It's not a problem. We just have to be selective on the type of spindle and maybe the back end of the spindle that we choose for that different arrangement of materials. Now you guys, as I've seen in Mindelheim in Germany at the factory, uh, you spend a lot of money on investment in the spindles. Um, so what, what options are available for customers? Okay, for, so the spindle is made by Grob. We make our own spindles at Grob. Um, and you can go from a 9,000 RPM, really tough materials, very robust, a lot of newton meters there, right up to 30,000 for high-speed aluminium. Um, cutting so you can have whatever you want we have got spindles in between that range and normally the spindle that we we the go-to spindle if you want to cut a little bit of every material would be a 16,000 oil layer spindle and that would cut you that would work for both whatever you need to, to cut and the and the back ends range from hsk 63 right the way through bt50 bt40 sk so we, we do a range of a lot of people find that you know they've got a preference in this market um, to what they have. In the aerospace market, we normally say HSK 63. So that's our preferred spindle. With the type of work that this machine uh, will offer to, to customers, what are the tooling options, the number of tools? Okay, we can have from the smallest, depends on which range of machine you go for, but you can have from 50 right up to, um, I think it's in the, the 300s. 
Um, but you can add on tools at a later date. That's the beauty of this, this, this design as well, that you don't have to go for the amount of tools that you might need in the future right now. You can put, add those on at a later date. And um, for, for, for lots of engineers that may be looking at investing in new machine tools at the moment, um, what's on offer from Grob? Um, is to see the machine effectively. Okay, well, you've been out to the factory, Mark, and you, you know, you've been quite privileged to see how we build machines and what we can do and what we're capable of doing at Grob. And it's really, we, we really want people to come out there and have a look at us because it is quite a, a, an exciting visit. Uh, you see a lot of things you know, out there that are, are quite mind-boggling, really. So we are, we've got machines out there. We've got a comp permanent showroom on display all the time machines on display so we can go out very quickly if you need to that's not a problem now with COVID coming towards the end okay there's still restrictions somewhere but with those restrictions we can work around and and, and we can still we'd love to be able to show people out there show our facility and our machines and how we build them and what's behind Grob I mean we've been making machines since 1926 you know we're not a new company a lot of people think who are Grob but actually we've we've been around a long time because we've always supplied the automotive industry but we have that heritage well I can say the Taz Center at Middleheim is, is very fascinating there's lots of machines there and you're always doing demo cuts for prospective new customers as well Greg it's, it's been a real pleasure to have you here um, I wish you well with the new four axis uh, horizontal machine and if you are interested uh, to discuss some options please feel free to uh, call the guys at Grob UK